Okay. Okay, welcome to the finalization of this project, students. We're, we're going to test these bridges here. You'll make uh, several bridges here in the box here. We're going to see how much force to take to break these bridges. Not break, yeah. See how much force it takes to uh, really destroy this bridge. This is called destructive testing, okay? That's what they do in all laboratories. They, they see how much force is placed to build these bridges, but then they uh, mock it up to the actual bridge, and they know how much material to use. The length of material, the type of material they use to, to build this bridge. Here's a chart right here. I need y'all to copy this chart off the board here. We have about five or six bridges here. We're going to break down the student names who, who design these bridges here. And on how much the bridge weighs in grams. I ask you all to weigh your bridges right here on this uh, triple beam balance right here. So you weigh your bridges. Okay. Convert that uh, convert that weight to pounds. Okay. Uh, Use a formula to convert grams to pounds. And we're going to measure the amount of force with this power test here and see how much force it takes with that brick uh, to destroy the bridge. And you're going to put that number here. Then you'll calculate the efficiency of your bridge here. And you're going to put that number here. And we're going to see how you, who has the strongest bridge and uh, how, which bridge is more efficient than all the rest of them, you know, compared to your classmate bridges. All right. Our tire tester here, it weighed about 34.5 grams. We're going to see how much force it takes to uh, break this bridge or cause it to a member to fail. And let's see, let's see when, where, how much force. That's 10, 20. 30, 40. You see, the, you see the tension here on the bridge here. You see the, the, the members bending here in the middle as the force is pulling down on the bridge. Okay, it was 30, right? 30 pounds of force. You see, you see, the, you see the tension on the bridge here. And we got tension going, force is going this way. Compression forces cause it to, to curve inward. The tension forces cause it to stretch. So you have both forces acting on this bridge here. We've got 30 pounds of force on the bridge here. See that? That was 40 pounds of force called this bridge to break. All right, put another one on. I'm going to put the next bridge up here. This is bridge number three. And it would be... And it weighs 35 grams here. You are 35 grams, okay, of zero. All right, this is, you know, you got three parts of the bridge. You got a superstructure, you got the road bed, and you got the substructure, okay? Because remember those three parts of the bridge here. Right now we're putting it, we're loading the superstructure on the road, on our loading blocks here. Okay, we've got bridge number three, 35 grams. We're going to see how much force it takes to, to Destroy the bridge here. Y'all look at the bridge as uh, as force affects the bridge here. You see uh, bending motion here, the curving motion, compression. You see the bridge move out this way. You see the bridge move to the left or right. That's that's tension. Okay. So here we go. You put the bridge on. Okay. Thank you. Put it in the box here. All right. Let's count the number. Of how much force did we get here? Ten. 20, 30, 40, 50, Ooh. 60 pounds of force, that's good, that's a hard one. All right, and why do you think that bridge, uh, I think this bridge uh, held so much uh, force. Okay, this bridge right here took uh, 60 pounds of force to break it, and you want to analyze the bridge, see what, where, did the, where did it fail? So you look at the bridge after we take it off the tester here, and you see the road bed fail right here. You see that right there? So we, 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 we fly into the, into the river right there. I got off the bridge before the whole road bed crashed. Okay, but most of all, 
most bridge failure is road bed. So these, these members right here are pulling upward while the truck is pulling, going across here, it's pulling downward. But this is a, a real steady bridge, you see. It has, um, it's symmetrical on both sides. Very good construction. All right. This is bridge number four. Okay, we've got another bridge on the testing here. And it weighs uh, 46 grams. And see how much force it takes to destroy this bridge here. And uh, y'all make sure y'all put these, these numbers into the chart here as we do this. Okay. So this is uh, this chart. Now listen for the the sound. That's how we know it fails. 10, 20, 30, you hear anything? Mm -hmm. 30 pounds of force. Okay. That was a slight foot there. You see, you see the compression here? Right here with the bridge is, 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 is curving right down through here? That's the compression forces on the bridge here. Compress means it, it curves in like this. The bridge is curving a little bit, and the bridge is stretching a little bit here. You can't see it, but it's tension going this way. Tension force is going left and right. Compression force is coming inward. And you, when, when I release the force, you can see the bridge come back up. Okay, watch the bridge come back up like this area right here when I release the force on the bridge. Did you notice it? Did you notice it? Well, there was light movement there. You can't see it, but forward. Okay, 